looks like klein 3.3 just dropped and while it might not look the flashiest it's packed with a lot of security and ecosystem improvements that makes it a real difference for coding workspaces if you haven't heard of klein before it's an autonomous coding agent that integrates directly into your ide it can help you create edit files execute commands use the browser and so much more fully autonomously now with this new upgrade to the klein 3.3 version there are a couple of new updates firstly we have the klein ignore file support you can now create a klein ignore file and this is essentially to block klein from accessing specific files or patterns this is definitely going to be a game changer for projects with sensitive files especially when you're using auto approve mode so this will ensure that klein won't accidentally touch the restricted data so this is something that will contain it within a virtual environment now for the people who do not have Klein installed or do not have it integrated into an IDE this is how you can quickly get started you can easily go ahead and install an IDE of your choice in this case I'm using Visual Studio Code with Klein and you can go ahead and install the Klein extension by going over to the marketplace of Visual Studio Code and you can open this up and what you can do is you can go ahead and install Klein to your IDE after you install it it'll showcase on the left hand panel now for the people who already have it installed make sure you go ahead and update this to the version 3.3 update before we get started i just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the world of ai newsletter i'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the ai space so definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free to showcase the client ignore file, what you can do is go over to this new folder we have over here for web UI. I'm going to go ahead and click on new file. I'm going to then rename it to client ignore. So it's simple as that. Once that is done, what you can do is within this file, you can start describing different file patterns to block from having client accessing. So in this case, you can ignore environment and credential files like your ENV like this env file over here so you can have that by simply going ahead and setting out different uh specifications this is just something that i had my chatbot generate for me and this is to ignore environment and credential files ignore logs so you can have something specified over here in your dot client ignore file so that every time you generate with client it's going to then go ahead and basically use these file patterns to block Klein from accessing. You now also have a new keyboard shortcut. This is where you can use command plus shift plus A and essentially this is a small new improvement which is a shortcut that will quickly let you switch between the plan and act mode. So you can streamline your workflow from making interactions with Klein a bit more easier from the planning phase to the acting phase to have it generate based off the plan. Now, this is not something that's super big, but they have introduced bug fixes for missing files and dropdowns. So this was actually one of the most frustrating bugs that many people had encountered. Previously, new files wouldn't actually show up in the text field file dropdown. So this would basically have you manually refresh and it, it would be a quite mundane task to do. So they have introduced this fix where you have a new file management system so it's a lot easier for you to have these new files actually show up rather than you going ahead and refreshing in my opinion this is probably one of the biggest updates a part of this version 3.3 release if you go over to the settings tab and if you are to go over to the api provider section click on this drop down menu you'll notice that you now have the ability to integrate various other providers you now have the ability to integrate with AWS Bedrock, you have Alibaba Quinn, and it also supports Requesty. This is where you also have another new provider as in with Together AI. So you can go ahead and enter your API key with them and then you can enter the model ID and you will be able to access their provider with Klein. So this is definitely gonna give you a lot more flexibility in choosing your preferred uh, AI backends with these different providers. So you can see it's coming similar to how RuKlein or RuCode has their different providers. You can see it is mimicking the same sort of extensive different providers. So this is a great new update that gives you a lot of flexibility. 
Next up, you have automatic retry for rate limited requests. So this was actually a feature that one of the contributors released and it's essentially where Klein can now intelligently retry requests that hit a rate limit. So this means fewer interruptions will occur and it's gonna basically make it more reliable for your experience when you're working with different APIs or external services. So essentially it will help you get a better, I would say workflow process when you're using Klein as it can automatically retry for rate limited responses or requests. Now, something cool is that if you are to use the O3 mini or the O3 model, what you can realize is that Klein now includes a reasoning effort that supports this new uh, reasoning model's advanced capabilities. Within the advanced settings, this is where you can allow users to fine tune as well as have it so that the reasoning depths of the models are accessible when you're working with it within Klein. So it's going to optimize the performance for complex problem solving, and it's going to also reduce computation for faster responses. And you can set this all up within the advanced settings tab. Now, something cool that a lot of people might not know is that you can have and select different models for the plan in act mode. This is where for the plan mode, I would have something like the OpenAI GPT-3 mini used. And in this case, it would assess how well it could tackle the problem. And for essentially the act mode, you can use something that is a cheaper alternative, like maybe the Gemini 2.0 Pro model, which is a new model that you can use. And you can have it so that it could work on low reasoning efforts for quick, quicker execution of tasks. So maybe even using something like Anthropics, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. But in this case, you would run into a couple of rate limits, or you can even use something like DeepSeek's R1 model. So essentially, you can play around with this and configure the models of your choice. But essentially, with the plan mode, you can use something with a, a model that will get you higher reasoning efforts for better strategic thinking to execute your plan or the act of your model. And then you can use the act mode with a model that uses low reasoning efforts for quicker execution of tasks. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. I believe I did miss one version update and I didn't really make a lot of uh, videos or any sort of tweets about it but essentially they worked on improving a lot of the different bug fixes and you can actually take a look at the full changelog within their github repository which showcases all the small little things that they tweaked in that version release that i didn't really make a video on but that's essentially it for this new video showcasing the capabilities of this new update which is the client 3.3 version update I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. They have done a great job and I definitely recommend that you take a look at it because they have been continuously working on improving this and keeping this product open source, which means that anyone can extend on it further and as well as accessing it completely for free. So huge props to the team. Make sure you follow them and make sure you actually support them by joining the Discord. Make sure you go ahead and join our, our newsletter because this is a great way for you to get daily AI news given to you. And you can see that we tend to provide you a lot of details so that you can easily stay informed of what is happening in the world of AI. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.